Yeah, so let's look at the brighter side in life. All right. There is a pandemic that has opened a lot of doors and closed some as well. But you know what they say, what's meant to be will be. So if you're meant to be free from whatever you you feel like you're stuck in, you will be. But I also have a saying now that you have to fist fight sometimes with destiny. All right. And what I mean by that is, is that people will try to tell you anything to keep you where they want you to be. All right. They want you to be where they want you to be. But if you don't feel like that's where you're meant to be, then metaphorically speaking or literally, you have to fight sometimes. That's life. That's like playing sports. All right. If uh, you're down by 30 points and they're like, no, it's, it's fate, man. It's, it's meant for us to lose this game. You, you're, you're stopping yourself from doing that. You're stopping yourself. Anytime you tell yourself that you can't do something, then you're not going to do it. Now, I'm not telling you to be ridiculous about things. There are certain things that you can't do. That's You have to be realistic about it. But realistically, a lot of scenarios in life, you chop your own legs off and stop your growth. All right? Now, I've never, as an adult, once I start realizing that I can do things more than what I thought I can do, I stop short stopping myself. I stop saying that I can't do something. Like people told me all the time, you can't do this. You can't do that, you know, without X, Y, Z. But there are certain things. There's people that break the mold all the time, especially nowadays. Nowadays, things are a lot more accessible. Your phone is one of the most powerful tools that you have in your arsenal if you're building something. All right. Which brings me to another topic, Legos. All right. As a child, you were given Legos to build. All right. And a lot of people get away from those Legos. Legos as an adult are different apps. They're Legos. If you're building something, I'm sure there's an app to help you build towards it. Whatever you're building. All right. Or tools that you can utilize in order to build whatever you're using. Now, I don't know what you're building, but whatever you're building, it takes time. Like there's a saying, Rome wasn't built in a in a day. All right? I like to take things in life a step further because they always leave things up to interpretation and leave people out to dry. All right. Rome wasn't built in a day. It wasn't built in 10 years either. All right. It wasn't. And that's the reality of the matter. There's another saying that says, while in Rome, do as the Romans do. All right. But what they didn't tell you is for you religious people out there, the Romans crucified Jesus. All right. So at the end of the day, are you going to follow the herd even though you know it's not for you? I'm not even going to say wrong. Are you going to follow the herd even though you know it's not for you? That's only prolonging wherever you're trying to go in life. All right. Some people, they don't have any aspirations to do more than what they're doing. They're not wrong. They're content with their life. I'm the type of person where there's certain things that I want to achieve with the one life that I have, you know, because that's the only thing that I know that for sure. I know for sure that I have one life or right now all right i'm just saying there's people that believe in reincarnation and stuff like that but the only thing that i know for sure without no possibility at all you know what i'm saying is that the life that i have right now is all i have so i refuse to waste my life doing things that i don't want to do if i don't have to now there's plenty things in life 
that you have to do that you don't want to do. But in reality, there's a lot of things that you don't have to do. There's a lot of situations that you don't have to be a part of that you choose to do because of peer pressure, uh, X, Y, Z. You know, I'm not even going to come up with every excuse in a book because why? The reality of the matter is, is there's a lot of things in life that we do as people that we shouldn't be doing. I did a lot of it young, but that I ended up realizing real young that it was like, dude, I set myself back in life by not doing what I knew I shouldn't be doing, by not doing what I knew I should be doing. And once I realized that, and I realized that that wasn't a life for me. I realized that anything else would be stupid of me to do. And the stupid I am not. I might be complicated. I might be confusing. But I am not stupid. I realize early what's wrong and what's right. And what's for me and what's not for me. Now, over life, things that you go through in life, they're going to... uh form you all right they're going to form your taste does people taste change over time absolutely but the life that you live forms your taste and then people want to tell you what you should taste and what you should like and it's like no dude i had that i don't like that that's not for me it might be for you, but it's not for me. People will try to force you to do what they want for you, which makes no sense because those people that are forcing you to do things that aren't for you, a lot of times they don't even want to do what they were doing, but that's what they was forced into doing. You know what I mean? People that are in relationships that don't want to be in those relationships or they didn't want to be in that relationship when they got in that relationship, but they was uh, I'm not even going to say force. They were coached into getting into that relationship. And then it's like 10 years, 15 years down the line. And then they're like, I should have went, I should have went a different route. I don't want to be one of those people. You know, a person would be like, oh, you just move too fast. You, you give up on things. No, I realize when things aren't for me, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a real good, in my opinion, I'm a real good judge of per, a person, what type of person I would want in my life, all right? especially as a mate, all right? just because I'll, I'll even say I'm a complicated individual. There's certain things that I do not like. I'm not going to tell you about it because that might be about that might be your makeup. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong for feeling however you feel because feelings are personal. People can feel the way they want to feel, but I am going to tell you that the way that you are don't mesh with the type of person that I am. And that's not saying that either one of us is wrong. That's just saying that I know myself well.